less than two weeks after being rescued from Stevens County, three malnourished horses are on the road to recovery. KXLI Force Tanya Dahl has been following the story and shows us their new life. After rescuers found three horses starving and underweight, they're starting new lives with new names. I couldn't believe I was seeing it in real life. It was, I was, I don't, I can't even explain it. Two weeks ago, Rocky Stallion and Cinderella got a second chance. Both were severely malnourished after being rescued from Stevens County. The smallest barely able to stand. Hey, little girl. Here they are today with new names. Rocky answers to chance. And Cinderella's new nickname is Cece. We hemmed and hawed and hemmed and hawed. And we knew it was going to be a huge task. Cece was taken in by Dan and Kim Olsen, but she's got a long way to go. She's about two years old, but take a look. Compared to a horse her age, she's only half the size she should be. She's going to be um, pretty fragile and not really out of the woods for about four months. Chance is a lot better off, but still underweight. I have horses myself, and they're all fat. You can't see their ribs. And Looking at my mare the other day, I can't even feel some of the bones you can see on him. Jolene Williams adopted him after hearing about the malnourished horses. She hopes he'll become her riding companion. He's only a little halter broke, not much, um, and hopefully put some weight on him over the winter and eventually send him to a trainer so I can start riding him. And for Cece, those who've grown to love her say a happy ending is planned. But I would really like to uh, um, get her to pull a cart and take her to um, like uh, kids camps and, and little things for, for kids events, maybe in little, little junior parades or something. Just, just because of her deformities and, and, and her, her Cinderella story. Many local businesses and families have been helping with these horses' rehabilitation. And that third horse we introduced you to, IB Spotless, may soon have a new owner. Reporting from South Spokane, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.